Do we come on you unaware? You're set untended? Do you put down your paper to lift up an ear? Suspend what you were about to say? Or stay the fingertip that could snap shut the traps of night between us? House Jameson and the music of Bernard Herman in Norman Corwin's Seems Radio is here to stay. That will take care of overtures and prologues for tonight. I believe a leap of grass is no less than the journey work of the stars. And the narrowest hinge in my hand puts to scorn all machinery. And the cow, crunching with depressed head, surpasses any statue. And a mouse is miracle enough to stagger sextillions of infidels. Three and a quarter centuries ago, they put you in a tomb. Since then, the world has cracked a little at the seams. The nations have been crossed and double-crossed. And arts and sciences and attitudes grown stale. And yet, there's not a trace of mold about your poetry. Your plays go undiminished. And more so now than ever, for the theater has grown to take in all the stages of the land, all villages and hamlets, cabins, hard to get to, houses high on hills, an island where the ferry plies but once a week, trapper in the woods, and ranger on the range, and lighthouse keeper polishing his glass. They all can hear you now within the compass of this voice. Your audience has grown. Think hard upon these words coming toward you through the night. Workshop presents as its 41st program in a series devoted to experimental radio drama, Discovery, a play written especially for the microphone by Merrill Dennison, author of Columbia's America's Hour series, based on Henry Hudson's last tragic voyage to the Inland Sea, which bears his name. <laughs> changes. It is now early in July. The Discovery has battled her way across the Atlantic and is locked among the ice floes in the passage now known as Hudson Strait. In his cabin, Hudson is studying his chart. Below, a sullen, mutinous crew. Outside, the grinding and the crunching of the ice. It's called A Story for Putting Sick Men to Sleep. There's a velvety black cow in a cool green field near a jade green river chewing cowslips all night long. And the cow gives rich creamy milk and butter, sweet and clean. And all night long in a cool green field near the jade green river, she chews her cud and is happy and content. Tell me about the cowslips. The cowslips are yellow and lovely and fresh. 
and the cow chews the cowslips all night long. Tell me about the river. This is Hollywood and CBS presenting forecast number four. Herbert Marshall, directed by Alfred Hitchcock in the first program of the proposed new series entitled Suspense. Columbia Workshop presents Someone Else by Lucille Fletcher with Martin Gable. Franz Kafka's The Trial, with Carl Swenson as Joseph K., and produced for the Columbia Workshop by Guy Della Chapa. Someone... Someone must have been telling lies about Joseph K. All right, Joseph K. For some time, he walked the streets alone. That night, while Joseph K. was sitting in his room, two men entered without knocking. Why do you bring me to this deserted stone quarry? There's no court here, no judge, no... Are you guilty of the crime for which you are about to die? <laughs> are you guilty? Uh, are you guilty? Uh, are you guilty? Tonight, the workshop has again invited Mr. Robeson to direct his original play, Rhythm of the Jute Mill, for which special music has been composed by Bernard Herman.
Oh, that isn't my symphony. Why, of course it is. That is a band. That isn't a symphony officer. Here, let me see that dress. An Incident of the Cosmos by Paul Y. Anderson. In the year 2179, in a vast dwelling on an outer planet of the solar system of Betelgeuse, a being of enormous size with a head as big as a piano is staring through a giant telescope, the upper end of which is lost in the clouds. Here upon your eyes, I place the water from the well of the four saints. Nos patre sit et filio cum spiritu paracleto, he sui dono gratia miseretes es hibernae. Oh, glory be to God! I never could carry anything through. He said I was a poor snipe. I had no guts. That's right, Jennison. That's right. I'm the part of you that nobody knows. That you didn't know. And you can do this thing. I tell you, you can do it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I can do it. You! That's it, Jennison. That's the way it'll be. Will Yard hanged for murder. And Hetty, thinking of you, missing you. Well, the time's come, Jennison. Are you ready? Yes. You've planned everything, Jennison. It's just right. Now, go on. Pull it. I can pull it now. Jennison, don't give way. Keep going. Keep going. Think what would happen if you gave way now. Yes. Yeah, but I can't see. No. It's just ahead. You're getting there. Go on. Go on. You're almost there. Yeah. Yeah. 